All right, so I uh, traveled here to San Diego filming some stuff with Sony, but I wanted to talk about my camera bag and the gear that I packed in the Brevity Jumper. This video is sponsored by my good friends from Loom Cube, and this is the RGB Panel Go, a super lightweight, compact LED light that's perfect for all photographers and videographers. Let me show you how it works. So right now I've set it to the effect where it's looping all the colors, but you can change all the parameters of the light with the LCD menu screen in the back. You can change the intensity of the light. Right now it's at 100%, but I can go down all the way to 1%, which is really nice. You can change the color temperature from daylight all the way to tungsten, have a nice little warm lighting over there. If you want to splash a little color, you can select whatever color you want in the RGB spectrum. Right now it's going through green, I'm gonna go through teal, blue, purple. Oh, I like purple, I like that. And there are different lighting effects that you can choose from siren to fire, ooh, warm and toasty, to lightning, to my favorite effect, looping all the colors. It's a really sweet little light. And if you wanna check out the Loom Cube RGB panel go, links will be down in the description below. And thanks Loom Cube for sponsoring this video. So cute. Now I've been traveling a lot lately and I've learned very quickly that sometimes the biggest camera bags isn't necessarily the best. Like, yeah, sure, you can pack a ton of camera gear, but that's gonna take a big toll on your back. Where a backpack like this, the Brevity Jumper, like you can just pack your essential gear and it is a lot easier to travel with. And so yeah, I'll show you the gear that I brought. First, let's open the main camera compartment. Oh, it's right over here. Hopefully things will fall out. There you go. Look how organized it is. Now in this empty spot, that's where I have my A7S III and the 16 to 35 G Master lens. I'm filming with it right now, which is why you don't see it in the camera bag, but here's a shot of it with all the gear packed in and it's nice and neatly organized, so cozy. And I love that you can fit all that in the Brevity Jumper. Other than my main camera, I also have my uh, vlog mic. This is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. Just such a reliable mic to have. I've been using this for years and uh, I have uh, the windscreen on. Well, really it's, a, it's called the Dead Cat or a Dead Wombat. Basically, it just cuts out a lot of that wind noise by having this big old furry thing over here. But that is my vlog mic of choice. I also have some basic filming accessories like a, like a rocket blower to like blow out dust from your lens, gaff tape because you just never know when you need gaff tape, and of course, a lens pen to clean the lens and just to make it squeaky clean. So I packed that right over there in that little spot just like so. And then next to it, I, uh, I also brought a lens. This is the 24 to 70 G Master lens. Now this isn't the, the new one, the Mark II version. I love the Mark II version and I can't wait to have that lens. But the, the original 24 to 70 is great. It's just really heavy. But for this particular trip, I wanted to have two lens options to choose from. My go-to lens is always gonna be the 16 to 35 G Master lens and uh, the 24 to 70 is gonna be my B-roll lens. So that fits nice and neat right over there. And just below that is one of my favorite cameras of all time and that's the Sony ZV-1. This is like my B camera. Like the footage shot with this camera matches so well with my Sony a7S III. I love how compact and lightweight it is. And because it's so small, like you could literally fit it in any camera bag. I have a little wind furry on top to cut down on that wind noise if I ever need to use audio coming from this camera. And underneath the camera is my favorite quick release plate. That's the Manfrotto RC2 quick release plate. I also have it on my a7S III. And basically I attach these quick release plates on all my cameras and I attach the base on all my tripods and gimbals. And that way I can easily attach my cameras onto whatever light stands, whatever gimbals, because they're on the same quick release system. So that's what I have right here. Oh, almost dropped it. <laughs> Better put it in the bag before I break something. So yeah, so the ZV-1 goes over there. And then next to it, uh, I have a filter pouch. And in my filter pouch, I have three filters to choose from. I got two variable ND filters. This is the Polar Pro Signature Edition 2, and this is the three to five stop version. Uh, I also have the, the six to nine stop version if I wanna cut down on my exposure a lot more. And then underneath that, I have a polarizer. And polarizers are great because uh, they can cut down on reflections if you're shooting through a window. And variable ND filters are great because essentially they're like sunglasses for your lens. And so if you don't wanna adjust your aperture or your shutter speed while you're filming, like if you wanna film at a lower aperture, like using a variable ND filter can help control that exposure without having to do much adjustments on your camera. So that's my filter pouch and that fits nice and snug right over there. So that's the main camera compartment. Uh, there's also a front compartment to house other accessories. And here I've got like a, like a lens cloth or, you know, I use this cloth to, to clean my computer screen. Uh, it's always good to bring a, a pen 
with you whenever you travel because you may need to write stuff down. And right over here, this is like my little emergency first aid kit. I grew up with a family of nurses and so, uh, so yeah, so having like some sort of first aid kit is crucial for all types of travels because sometimes you might get a cut here or there. You might stub your toe on something. And so yeah, having a little first aid kit like with bandages and like creams and all that stuff is, is always a good idea. And I love that this is like a little flat pack mini first aid kit and I just pack that nice and snug right there. Of course, gotta bring a mask these days. And uh, oh, this is actually probably my favorite piece of travel accessory and it's this. It looks kind of weird, but uh, if you flip it out, what this is, is basically it's an iPhone holder that you can clip on the back seat of an airplane. So in that way, you don't have to hold your phone while you're watching a Netflix movie or watching a YouTube video or whatever. And so yeah, every time I, I put this on the airplane seat, people look and they're like, hey, where did you get that from? I, I want that. And that's when I send them my affiliate link. And so, and yeah, if you want to check out any of the gear that I mentioned in this video, links will be down below. But if there's one thing to get uh, from this video, like if there's one product to get, it would definitely be this. And then I have some extra batteries. This is the uh, Peter McKinnon Nomadic uh, battery pouch, uh, extra batteries from my Sony a7S III. You can pack three batteries there if you want. And uh, also I have a mini battery bank. This is the Anchor, and this is the uh, the wireless charging one. You can just stick it to the back of, uh, of my iPhone 13 Pro, and it'll charge wirelessly. You can also plug it in if you want to. And so yeah, just having a battery bank, some battery bank when you travel is always a good idea. So yeah, so that goes in the front compartment. And then uh, the top compartment over here, you can house other accessories such as, well, let me open it. Here I have my, uh, my tech pouch. I love this tech pouch. I pack all things tech in here, such as lightning cables, USB-C cables, power chargers. I got a couple of SSDs here that I, I pack. And so yeah, so this is the tech pouch that I always bring, my tech EDC bag. And it's just nice knowing that you can just bring this small little pouch and pack it in whatever bag you bring wherever you travel. And so yeah, so this is my, my little tech EDC pouch. Also in the top compartment, I brought a wireless lav system. This is the DJI mic. Uh, I have a review video coming out pretty soon. Um, but yeah, this is the, my favorite wireless lav mic of choice. Two transmitters, one receiver, super easy to use. I also packed in a, a couple of lav mics as well. Ironically, I'm using the Rode Lav Go mics because, uh, well, that's all I had and they work perfectly well with the DJI mic system. And so yeah, so this is my wireless lav kit and it comes with this uh, cool pouch, which is nice because uh, like my tech pouch, you can pack it in any camera bag. And so yeah, so this sits right here in the top compartment. And uh, and because I had a lot more room in the top compartment, I also brought my uh, my favorite mouse. This is the Logitech MX Master 3. This is my favorite mouse to use to edit videos. It's just, it's, it's a great, great mouse, very, very comfortable. And so yeah, because I had a lot of room, I was like, why not? I need to be editing in the hotel room. And so I brought my mouse. And and uh, is that it? I don't, oh, little battery charger for my Sony ZV-1. I just stick that down there. Uh, and honestly, I probably didn't need to bring that because I could just connect the camera to a USB cable and just charge it that way. But again, I had a lot of room and so I just packed it anyway. Uh, of course, got sunglasses. Uh, oh, I got my uh, my Sony Link Buds S. These are my favorite wireless uh, earbuds because the, the noise cancellation is incredible. It's perfect for travel, like on a plane especially. And they've been pretty awesome to, to use when I was editing my videos on the plane. And so, yeah, this is actually customized. I went to New York and got the case customized. It's really cool. Here they are. So yeah, so I just packed that right there, put them on whenever uh, I'm on the plane, I need to edit. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Oh no, that's a lie, my laptop, of course. So the Brevity Jumper can also hold a, uh, a laptop. I have the uh, MacBook Pro M1 Max 14 inch, and this is my favorite laptop to travel with. I think 14 inches is perfect for, for travel, and it's a pretty powerful laptop, no complaints from me there. And so I just packed that nice and neat in the laptop compartments. And then of course I've got a, a hand sanitizer clip that I just clip onto the bag. Uh, I do have um, the Joby Gorilla Pod that I can stick right over here in the tripod holder, and you have a, a strap, a compression strap to keep that in place. You can also put a water bottle if you want. And probably the greatest thing about this uh, backpack is a secret back compartment to hold sensitive items like a passport or, oh, I was looking for that key. But yeah, you can have like sensitive items in there if you want. But that's all the gear that I packed for this trip, all the camera gear in this bag, the Brevity Jumper. And honestly, traveling with this backpack has been such a pleasure. Like it's small enough that I can stow away underneath an airplane seat. And if I need to edit something, I can simply pull out the backpack, get my laptop out and start editing. Where with my nomadic Peter McKinnon backpack, 
That can't fit underneath an airplane seat. I have to tuck it away into the overhead bin and then take out my laptop separately and just hold on to it if I want to edit. But with this backpack, I don't need to. I can just stow it underneath an airplane seat and then pull out whatever accessory that I want. And so yeah, that's all my gear. That's the Brevity Jumper and that's the video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>